the theory which builds on ideas that have been mulled over for decades now states that when something is sucked into a black hole, it's not lost to the universe forever as you might expect. Instead, Professor Stephen Hawking says that the information is stored not in the interior of the black hole, but on its boundary, the event horizon. What happens in the event horizon is rather complex and even physicists struggle to describe it. One analogy, based on a theory devised by the American and Dutch physicists Leonard Susskind and Gerard Hoft is that as a body falls into a black hole, its information leaves behind a kind of two-dimensional holographic imprint on the event horizon, which is sort of bubble that contains a black hole through which everything must pass. Though you may be lost inside the black hole, the essence of you, the information about you, will stay smeared on the event horizon just outside. Hawking's theory is that the information can then escape again. In one of the previous discoveries, for which he's famous, he found that black holes aren't perfectly black. They give off energy, called Hawking radiation, which is created very near the event horizon by small energy fluctuations in space. So Hawking now theorizes that this outgoing energy can pick up the information blueprint sitting on the event horizon and carry it back into the universe. Though the information might have escaped the black hole, it's not exactly its former self. The information has now returned in a chaotic and useless form.